Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at another Ajaz keyboard. Uh, they're putting out keyboards faster than I can review them. And I'm quite enjoying um, reviewing them. It's I've gone from you know, meh about Ajaz to like, oh, a new Ajaz keyboard, let me check it out. So today we are taking a look at the AK820 Pro. So today we're taking a look at the Ajaz AK820 Pro. I've previously taken a look at the AK820 Max. We're going to see what kind of differences we have here. I'm pretty sure we're still dealing with a 75% uh, three mode keyboard. But again, sometimes keyboards just, they, they melt in my head and some keyboard, three keyboards will become one. I've reviewed a few keyboards. I mean, I recently uploaded what my 830th video. Yeah. I'll... But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the HS AK820 Pro and see what it's got in store for us. Now, before we take a look at the keyboard, I do like to see what's included in the box. Uh, first, we could see that we have a very nice complete manual i like when they're little booklets because it means there's a lot more information it does look like it comes in a couple of languages but we have half of it looks to be english so it should cover all of our questions we have your standard rubberized usb c to usb -A. and we have a standard wire switch and key cabinet and here we are with the ajaz ak820 pro and one first thing I got to say is thank you, Ajaz, for including a dust cover. Uh, this, if you put this on your keyboard anytime you're not using it, it's going to last as long as that keyboard should last because you're preventing all the detritus and stuff that's floating around. It's microscopic. We don't see it. That would collect on surfaces. It's preventing it from getting down in there and gunking up the works. So I appreciate when manufacturers include them. I, I do advise that everyone that has one, use it. And for some reason, your keyboard didn't come with one. A lot of times you can grab the top plastic clear tray off of a keycap set and they'll usually fit on a keyboard. Um, not all of them, but, and if you can at least, like say you have a full size, but you can only cover like most of it, but the numpad, at least you're covering some of it. Anyway, I appreciate when manufacturers include this because it shows a little bit of pride behind their product and they're saying, hey, we built this well, we want it to last. So here we have it. It's a nice white case. I do like the simple design of the wedge on the side. Um, we have some really nice looking keycaps. Um, this uh, this font is very familiar to me. Ajans keeps using it. I always can tell by that M that I, I actually like it. For me, it's a little futuristic, but I like the font because it's a little bit bigger than on some of the other standard uh, keyboards or pre-built, sh should say. We do have the logo out here in front. And if we look to the back, oh, all right, okay. I'm used to stuff being back here, but we have a slightly recessed uh, USB-C port and ah, we can see the gasket flex on there. So there's uh, a plastic piece basically that is around the port, but we can see that we have the gasket mounting. Now, if we look down below, we can see that we have a magnetized pocket for the 2.4 gigahertz dong. So not only is it branded ADAS, it's actually the same color as the keyboard body. So two hints as to what it could go to in case you happen to come across it while walking or cleaning up the house. We also have switches for both Win and Mac mode, and we have the three mode connectivity, Bluetooth, which I'm going to assume we have three pockets for three devices, USB, and 2.4 that uses the dongle. We also have a quality control sticker, and it passed in March of 2024. Very nice. Now, I'm not quite sure what this colorway I, is it, which something I can't recall. I really do like this soft pastel um, colorway. I've actually found one that is kind of similar to this one, but a little bit different. 
and it's even nicer and i can't believe how cheap i picked it up but that's for another day i actually like this key cap set um it's very soft it's muted i think it's something that i mean not to not to say that you know some people are going to like some over another but i think that this is a colorway that's kind of cutesy but that would kind of have more of a general appeal that everybody you know might like it i know i personally like it i know for a fact my daughters both like this because they both have um one of them is inverted colors but they're basically the same sets and they love it because they're just like they're so pretty they pop and my son actually likes it too though right now he uh we recently got him a new set that matches his school colors so he's kind of gone with that for school spirit and because he just started university um just the past week so um it was fun to pick out a keycap set that matched his school uh, i still want to get the mascot on a key that's probably that's probably what i'm going to do for his christmas present is to get either the uh, maybe see if I can get like three different artists and key, key, key caps made. One with like the school logo, one with the, the the team logo, and one with like just something that kind of melds to. I don't know. But anyway, it's just cool that we got to pick out a key cap that we actually found one that worked with the school colors. I mean, the green looks the same. Um, so I, I'm really, really happy with that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and check out what we've got under here. We've got these keycaps. I am going to guess that they're 1.5 millimeter in thickness because that's what I've seen from a lot of the AJAZ. But these are double shot PBT and they come. Oh, all right. Never mind. I was wrong on this one. They're a little bit thinner 1.2 millimeters in thickness. Um, hmm. That's, uh, I guess, uh, that's different. Now, 1.2, anything that's over one millimeter is going to be good. I just assumed, because a lot of the other keyboards I've been reviewing from AJAZ have 1.5 or thicker. So these are a little bit lighter. Now let's see about this switch. We have a gray bottom, we have a white top, and a blue dustproof stem with very very long pull just the specs today we are taking a look at the ajaz ak820 pro a three mode 75 percent with a knob and a screen it includes a gasket mounted flex cut pc plate as well as a south facing flex cut three and five pin hot swap compatible pcb with hi-fi layers coming in at 1.2 millimeters of thickness it is preloaded with AJAZ Flying Fish linear switches and double shot PBT cherry keycaps that come measuring in at 1.5 millimeter. It is loaded with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and comes weighing in at 787 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 21 millimeters above the typing surface while the back sits at 28 millimeters, providing for an initial typing angle of 5 degrees. Raising the first set of flip out feet will take the back height to 35 millimeters, changing your angle of typing to 8 degrees, and flipping out the final set of fold down feet will take your back up to 42 millimeters, changing your angle of typing to 12 degrees. This keyboard MSRPs for $59.99 on WhatGeek's website. Links below. All right, so once we have the uh, software installed, I'll put a link down below where it's downloaded. We are presented with the keyboard. Um, I like that it matches actually the colorway that I have in front of me. We have the top layer, which is gonna be the legends that you see. And then we're gonna have the function layer and you can choose to either do a key combination for a momentary, you know, just a function letter combination or to actually switch over or toggle. We have a very basic macro editor has the ability to import, export, change timing, add mouse, basic functionality. We also have the lighting that we can select the different effects that are already predefined for the keyboard. Then we come to the screen section. We have the ability to download the actual default boot one that's there. 
um, and I had already come and loaded one up, but I decided to go ahead and show you how to load another one. Uh, this one is a Drop the Mic with Brian Cranston. I always hit Time Sync. There is a little bit of, I guess you could say, delay. I've noticed after some time of usage, and somebody actually mentioned it to me, and I forgot to respond or did respond. But um, I've seen a drift of maybe a minute or two a week. It's not major, but I mean, I, obviously after a few weeks, it's going to add up. So... I basically, anytime I come to update the screen or plug it into my Windows workstation, I will upgrade or update the uh, time sync. So that loaded up pretty quick. We have the user lighting section. This is where we can set the per key RGB static. So we can basically predefine, you know, a color behind every single key it could be a different color if you want. And uh, you have the RGB values and you also have the palette to choose from. Then below that we have the uh, custom lighting effects section um, where you can create effect. Then we come to the settings section where we can set um, whether the driver automatically starts on boot, the key response time, two seems to be fine in its default section. We can disable sleep if we don't want to have it go to sleep when we're um, either connected or in wireless mode, though I think that's only for wireless mode. We can also disable the Windows key, the Alt F4, and the Alt Tab. So. Pretty standard software, just like we've seen on the other AJAZ keyboards. It it does what it needs to do, and it's fairly simple to use. It's not QMK and FIM, but um, thankfully it can be done if you only have one computer and you use a different operating system. Uh, you can pass through a USB port to that Windows virtual machine that you create inside of your computer and at least you'll be able to program it there um, obviously programming it usually isn't a thing that you're going to need to do on a regular basis once you've got the keys set up the way that you like it it should be good to go um, the resolution on the screen though tiny is actually pretty good from a distance i can actually tell clearly that that's brian cranston i mean granted i've seen that that gif a bunch of times but um i think i still have that oh it looks like the protective plastic is on it. If not, I hope I didn't just scratch it up with my thumbnail. It still had the protective layer on there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. I like to cut up old um, screen protector film, film screen protectors for phones I no longer have, and I still have the films. I've got a few of them, but it doesn't take much. Just measure it out, cut it out, even if it's a little bit bigger. It's going to protect that plastic screen from any scratches, falls, drops, anything like that. So we have a fairly standard 75%. It be called an F13 layout, I guess, but they use that for the delete key, which is fine by me. We have a knob, we have a square screen, we have three key com uh, navigation column, and we have a pretty decent uh, keycap set. Like I said, I have been very pleased as of late with the the newer batches of AJAZ keyboards that and the switches that they're adding, they're actually doing some real improvements to their keyboards from, I mean, I hate to mention the AK-33, but <laughs> now granted, I mean, the AK-33, a lot of us have had it at one point or another because it was, um, it was usually priced pretty well. And I mean, it was uh, something to play with. It was a mechanical keyboard, but with those odd keys and everything. And their software used to be, it was hard. I mean, as a software developer myself, I found the software hard to use. But now, it's very easy to use. The, the keyboards make more sense, not only in design, but in functionality. Um, plus, they're built nicely. Um, the MSRPs are usually a little bit higher, but they go on sale a lot. I've seen a lot of times where, you know, today half off, you know, they have, they have the room to be able to do some really great sales. I know I've picked up some for a good price when I'm doing commissions or guests for friends. So I've gone and done a complete 180 from, you know, having my having some quirks with AJAZ to going, hey, AJAZ is actually a pretty decent brand. Um, 
and they've improved the software. And thankfully, I mean, I, it would be nice to have one package that worked for all their keyboards. So, because that's the only thing that I, I wish was a little better is hunting down the drivers. That's why I'll put the links down below for the drivers. So you guys don't have to go through the searching method, but it would be nice if they created, well, I mean, it would be nice if they went via QMK, but that's, you know, one step at a time, one step at a time. But it would be nice if they, while they're using that closed source software, because it's all using this, I mean, it's the same core software. Obviously, you know, it has different mappings, whatever, depending on the functionality of the keyboard. But for the most part, you know, you can turn some screens on, turn some screens off, but use the same software. So, you know, when I get a new AJAZ, I can just plug it in and go. I don't have to go search for the driver and install yet another program. So, um, other than that, I really, I don't have any complaints. I mean, these keyboards sound just really good. They sound good, they feel good. They got a good amount of flex. They're not extra flexy, but they got a good amount of flex. The um, screen functionality is pretty good. I mean said we can always go back to that's on and off and that's back to the screen so we have our information screen if that's what you prefer so we have we do have 24 hour time but it's really anything after 12 just add 12 or deduct 12 from the number and that's what time it is um i, I still have numlock turned on but i don't have a numpad <laughs> Anyway, um, I definitely plan to come back to this keyboard, open it up. I have now done quite a few AKs, actually, because there is the AK820 Pro. I did the AK820 Max. This is the Pro. I've done the 870 Pro. And I think there's a Max coming. I'm trying to keep track of it, but I'll make sure to get everything right in the description and everything. Anyway, for the price, I think you're getting a decent keyboard if you're looking for a, a plastic keyboard. Obviously, you know, pay attention, do some, you know, smart shopping. Um, a lot of times, like I said, I've seen these go on sale and it's, uh, it's even a better deal at that time. So I, I really like the quality and the fact that these in-stock keyboards are starting to really... I mean, be almost end game material. I know that when I started, you know, this is kind of what I was aiming for sounds and feels like this. I mean, having a screen, I mean, <laughs> we haven't, we haven't had screens on keyboards for too long, but now it's almost like, you know, almost every other keyboard has it. But I remember when it was only one keyboard that had it, you know, and it was really only two things you could do a little tiny animation or, you know, your words per minute, basically. But, it's uh it's improved and i'm i'm still excited for what interesting things are to come i've got a few ideas i don't know if i'll ever actually get around to doing them i may i may not maybe i'll pass them off to somebody that actually has the time um, i have actually been out of pocket for a little while i did fall down the stairs and i messed up my ankle more than i thought i had originally so i've kind of been laid up and i do apologize uh, i've missed on some videos and doing some other stuff so i do apologize for that but i'm okay i didn't break anything i did pull something though so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the ajaz ak820 pro as uh, the three mode version with the screen and the rgb because apparently there's single mode version and single light backlit versions as well from what i understand um i do hope that you enjoyed the video a subscribe a thumbs up really does go a long way it doesn't cost anything so it's really appreciated anyway i want to wish everybody watching an awesome week and until the next transmission keep calm and keep word on